And off the start, a tremendous start by number 17, Simon Andrews. He flew off the line. But what about Stuart Easton bravely diving underneath him through Coppice and up over the hill? It was Andrews also being surprised by Leon Cavia who stormed through in the second. Andrews responded brilliant fashion and the hairpin after they'd gone through Hall Bent. Leon Cavia now forced to play a waiting game, but not for long. He dips back underneath in a repeat move on Simon Andrews on the confused dog Tom Kawasaki. And then a copy move move on Stuart Eason. His favourite passing point for Cavia. That means he's back in the lead and this time he's able to extend it from that point on. James Ellison has forced his way through the third place and uh, looks desperately eager to get further ahead as Ian Lowry chased him through. But from that point on, Ellison gives it everything, getting side by side on in numerous occasions with Stuart Easton. But the little flying Scott on the Hydrex Honda just will not yield. And eventually, despite making a, a fairly enormous mistake by his standards on the penultimate lap, he survives in second place as Leon Camier grabs his 15th race win of the season for Airways Yamaha in front of this monster bank holiday crowd at Cadwell Park. Leon Camier gets the start, but not half as good a start as number three, Stuart Easton. The Hydrex Honda flies into the lead at the beginning of that race and uh, a good start also for John Laverty but he instantly gets elbowed aside by Camier who may be a bit sluggish off the start line but never wastes any time getting to the front rather like this James Ellison had almost so made a good start and was pretty determined to get the better of the Hydrex Honda earlier in this race but down went uh, Craig Fitzpatrick painful introduction to British Superbike for Fitzpatrick Ellison makes his early move on Stuart Easton and grabs that second place that will ultimately, of course, become a first place. And then Ellison leaves behind Simon Andrews and Stuart Easton to fight their fight while the STP MBR Guster of Michael Howarth drops oil at Coppice and the, the pace car comes out and suddenly Stuart Easton leaps back to his best form and gets really aggressive with Simon Andrews and uh, really exchanges some sabre sorting here. Look at this, the two of them down into Mansfield, a big moment for Easton as he tries to resist the Kawasaki then he's back underneath him going down into Park. And that fierce duel will continue right to the end as the smoke starts to billow out of the back of the Airways Yamaha of Leon Camier. He gets the order to pull in. He decides not to. He completes the race and he's ultimately excluded. And the race winner then becomes his teammate at Airways Yamaha, James Ellison, while team manager Colin Wright just goes to check things out. Bad luck then for Leon Camier and victory for James Ellison.